Well, welcome back you guys, my name is Game of Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called Spyro the Dragon. And before I do start anything, I do have to say I am completely sorry for Spyro 3 and I am ending the series right now. But I will come back to it at a later time and everything. But I do apologize that I wasn't putting 100% of myself into that series. I was not giving it heart. I wasn't giving it anything personal to it. All I was trying to do was complete the game from start to finish because I knew how. And it wasn't a good pl game play and all that. But now I will be doing Spiral the Dragon and probably after if you guys want to I can go and start Spyro 3 again but only if you guys want to because I won't play that game again if you guys don't want me to because I just thought that series to me was crap and if I thought it was crap and I edit and I was editing them it was like oh why would I edit a game anymore if I don't like how I'm doing it the gameplay and everything was off my commentary was just trying to get through the game so it was just really really crappy so to to redeem myself i am going to be playing spiral the dragon and i won't be trying to get 100 percent, but i will be trying to get mostly everything in every level i don't care i i will I don't care if I get 100% or anything because I may skip a world just because of how creepy it is and all that just you can you can really in the comments right now go and laugh at me on I'm afraid of a Spyro the Dragon level a game made for kids and all that yes you can laugh but anyway I'm going to be starting so I hope you guys do like this this I am going to put every Anything I do in this game, I will be putting on camera just because I will be putting on camera just because I the, everything is a home. The home world uh, is a level. The levels are a level. It's just everything in this is a level. But I've wasted a lot of time on the home screen and everything, so I'll just be going right now. Yep, create a file and new game. And I haven't played this in a while, so. I will f be forgetting a few things in the levels and that it's a really good game I do say so myself if I say so myself okay rolling oh it's been peaceful here in the five worlds or is it six for a dragon's age we now have 12,000 treasure or is it 14,000 what about this Ganasty Ganort character now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Was that Tom Kenny, the voice of Sp Spongebob? If so, then... Yay! I know he's the voice of Sp um, Spyro in um, later games, but I don't know about this. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Newark? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. These dragons are stupid in some worlds because it's like some of them don't even do anything. It's like they appear, say, like one line or something like, hey, you freed me. And then they just disappear. They don't even say thank you or anything. They're, they're big idiots because it's like I'm risking my life to do everything for them. And they aren't even wanting to have me save them. They're not happy if I save them. They just want me to do stuff. Uh oh. 
there's a graphical error right there and I saw that there's a world behind there. I probably won't do it just because it may be a flight level and I'm not really good at those. And you don't even need to do them in this to- Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. Yep. But, this this is a really cool game in that, for what it is and when it came out, came out it's a really awesome for it. I, I wish I was able to show you Spyro 3, but again, I was really not into it. Like, I try to put myself into every game I play just so then it will be good for you guys, and it was just total bullshit for me to play. It was just not there. Hey, I'm tr the one thing that di hasn't evolved with this game is the camera. The camera is not something to be uh, proud of. The one thing I do say, and that it's easy to get mult to get uh, 99 lives. You just have to enter and then leave a level, the like an easy level. Like you could enter like this level right here and just keep entering it, kill all the enemies, and just keep getting lives and all that. I will be doing that for some of the levels just because. Some of them are just really hard, and I keep Behave dying at them. Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. Okay, I'm skipping this one because we all know what he's going to say. Press the jump button, so then you can do that. So then you could glide for a glide attack. So you can get over to the to the other platforms that are above me. That that's another thing. They sh just shut up. I really hate when it's like they give you tutorial for something so stupid that anyone can find out if they at least put the mind to it. This game, yes, it was made when games were early and were made on the. It was made for the PS1 and everything. So yes, I understand they were trying to get kids involved into video games. So. And the only other consoles that were out at the time were Sega Saturn and the Nin the NES or something, something along the lines of those. And that, and it's like, who doesn't know the controls of a controller? And that they should have known that at least one person knew the controls of the PS1 controller. The devs should have even known that at least one or two people, a w large population population of the world have. And what is that over there? Is that a boss or something? If it is, then it doesn't look like anything. I'm gonna go and head over there. I will go into a world, but not right now because of I'm trying to get all the gems in this area just so then I at least am able to go on because with the progression of this game you will need to get a lot of treasure and if you just get it early on while you're in the level it makes it a lot easier to go on and everything and I really do not want to do one of the levels it's really creepy to me it just unsettling don't know why but it's unsettling cool flash do that again the artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. So to get to the boss, I just have to go and finish one of these type worlds. That's stupid. It's like, don't do I have to complete all of them? No, and it's kind of stupid because it's like, so I just choose an easy level, go through it, and I will beat it that fast? Really fast? That's stupid. Did I get everything here? No, I did not. I need 10 more pieces of treasure, and then I'll enter my first 
world. I will try to... This will be like at least a little bit longer than the other episodes and that. I don't know if, if I'm gonna have it really long and that, but I'm gonna try to keep it long just so then I... I'm gonna try to complete each world I'm in just so then I'm at least not like I was in Spyro 3 where I was just playing the game for just playing the game purposes but yeah I really am sorry I can't say how much I am sorry on that where are the last pieces of treasure oh did I oh do I know the do, do I remember it oh do I remember it please say I just remembered it nope let me try once more at this part once here once there once here and there and then one more what I know it's some sort of pattern one here one there one here one here and one here no one here one here one here and one here huh weird probably it's it's probably locked until I finish a world or complete the defeat the boss right there but where is that last piece of treasure because I know I will need it soon or later oh did I leave it in this cave over here sorry if I'm taking a long time trying to finish this but it's like stupid camera fix yourself don't be an doofus and just fix yourself yes 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 I need to save 10 dragons then you may use my balloon to go to different worlds blah 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 the freaking blah okay where will it be okay I'm gonna forget about that for now and just enter my first world here almost a hundred percent on the first world but just need like a few more pieces of treasure okay yep I like how they actually make it so that like, he's actually flying into the world this time and not just like showing up in the world because showing up in the world is like complete like why you flew you just flew through a portal to enter the world why not just show that he flew through the world why do you have to show that he did anything else? It's just random, random thing. That's just one thing that I do, do not like about Spyro 1 and 2. They don't make it seem like he actually flew through the world. He actually, he just went and arrived at the world. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Even Spyro is fed up with your bullshit right now. Because Spyro, I am sorry, dude. I feel your pain. You should not be having to listen to stuff you already do know. The one thing I do like is that even though the eggs aren't a big problem in this, a big deal in this you still want to get them because if you do it will go and open a secret level that I won't be getting of course just because I will be skipping one world just because of how creepy it is and I know it's stupid to be afraid of it but it, it just creeps the heck out of me. I really have no explanation on why. I have no explanation on what the purpose is. I have no anything on it. It just really freaks the heck out of me. But anyway, Spyro is a good game. I do say if you do want to actually play this, this game isn't that expensive. It's only like $5.00. Five to six dollars in the Play Store, so no, not the Play Store in the PlayStation Store. Sparrow, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You. 
We just got that in the first home in the home world. Yes, I don't need a tip on gliding. I know how to glide. What what do you think I am? A preschool a preschooler who still th sucks the thumb? What 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 do you take me as? A fool? You dumbass. Or something because it's like I know how to do stuff. These bigger dragons just want to give me tutorial on something that I don't even need a tutorial on. Okay. I can't fire breathe that. So over here I go. And I need to take this whirlwind up here. Stop this. Open this dragon and let's see what he says. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. You are one smart dragon, Spyro. The one thing I do appreciate of the creators of Spyro is not making him so green because there is. There would have been a problem if they made would have made him green because he would have probably have just blended in with the grass and all that and everything. So I'm uh, so I'm very glad that they didn't do that. But how much treasure do I need? Um, one more dragon. I no. Uh, hey, when this happens, the camera sucks. So I have to. Uh, come on, open this chest and give me the rest of the gems. Give me the gems. Give me, 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 give me the rest of the gems. Uh, do I really have to go up there? This is not fun to backtrack. It's really not fun to backtrack in this game. But you sort of sometimes have to, but... It's even though it's not as fun to do in in the late in this game like it is in the later games. At least you do get something from it. At least you do get a sense of this game. This game is sort of hey, get back here with the egg. I don't know what I was saying, but I do like how like this game isn't that hard. Like anyone can do it if they know what they're doing in video games. Hey, can I just jump and get you? Because if that's possible, then the trick to kill Nas to get Nasty North trick is yep. Apparently, defeating one of those blue guys is as easy as defeating Nasty North, Gnork. And you'll find out more about that as I progress, because you no, know, as I get to him, because he is just really easy to defeat and, and everything. But. I am trying to collect all the treasures so then I don't have to go through that one world. A few months ago I did complete this game and that not 100% just because of that one creepy world. I really have no problem with any of the other worlds but that one world just freaks me out. And the sad part is I'm almost like a... No I'm almost like... I'm an adult. I mean, like I'm a, I'm an adult and I'm afraid of that. I'm spooked out by that level. And the game came out when I was like a, still very young and that my first game I played after my sister played it was this. The first time I played anything other than a party game and that was this. And I I'm still freaked out about that one level. Don't know why, but it still freaks me out. Where is that last tre- the few bits of treasure? If I can't find them, I'm gonna try to f look for them off camera just because you've- you really have- you guys have seen what this world, I world is and I'm not gonna have you guys just sit through me trying to go through and get every piece of treasure. Seagulls? Where are the seagulls? I hear them, but I don't see them. Eh, weird. 
they probably wanted to make it feel like a beach but not a but the graphics on the ps1 probably couldn't handle everything they wanted to put oh there they are duh in the one room i did not check that's a good thing that i came back because i'm almost done with this level and everything and i will be doing one level per episode just because but the home world doesn't count if i'm doing that first because the first, the home world is technically a level and all that so the home world does not count if i'm trying to get all the gems in there first and then and dragons then go into world when you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms you're saving your progress okay okay no one needs to know that i'm saving my progress when i step on one of these i am not saving in front of you guys just because i want to be playing the game and not just saving the game but anyway is this the way back nope this level is very confusing with where you need to go now it's time to exit the world step on there for a second and now go back to the home world yep now i have almost all the treasure from two worlds and the enemies do respawn and all that and they give you like instead of gems they give you stuff like stuff like that so i i do like that but i'm going to leave the episode here just because i've done what i wanted to do so i am completely sorry about spiral 3 but there will be a lot more heart and me in this series i will be trying to do as much as possible in this except that one world that one world freaks the he living daylights out of me like i don't know if it's the music i don't know if it's the world itself i don't know if it's the concept of the world but it freaks the heck out of me it scares the bejesus out of me and yes i just used an old saying your parents may use but anyway i am gonna go so if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more videos by me, give me a boy, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all guys in the next video.